Joining us now, Michigan Senate candidate John James, Missouri Senate candidate Josh Hawley, Indiana Senate candidate Mike Braun. Mike, we'll start with you. In Indiana, you're facing the added burden of a libertarian that is drawing, some, if, if they draw 2% of the vote, it's not against Joe Donnelly, it will be against you. So I would say to the people of Indiana, any vote for this third party candidate is basically a vote for Donnelly. You know, I, I think the way that's going to work is that we get closer to uh, election time. A lot of people are going to see that that vote might not count. And I think it's so clear between me and uh, the Senator Donnelly is that, uh, you know, he's been in line with Chuck Schumer from day one. He's got a record. It's easy to talk about. All the things you uh, <coughs> described in other races hold true here. He takes his marching orders from Chuck. And really, when you vote for someone like uh, Donnelly, you're voting for Schumer. And the libertarian vote, I think, shares some of the principles of what we stand for. I think those will come home to roost because they want their vote to count. John James, um, I've been watching you. Uh, the first time I interviewed you, you were, you were way behind. But you've been able to close the race as people get to know you. I, I don't say this often because when I first interviewed you on my radio show, I even said to you, wow, this is the future of the Republican Party. Your background, your business, a state like Michigan that finally is beginning to see some economic revitalization under the policies of the president. And if you're there, how could you help him? That's right. And we can't let that slip. Not at all. Not for a second. And when you were talking about the, uh, the mob over the past uh, few weeks, past few years, it's absolutely essential that we wake up and recognize exactly what the Marxist progressives are trying to get us to do. Right now, conservative speech is considered violence, and uh, liberal violence is considered speech. It, it's an attack on what we hold dear and fundamental, and that message is getting out. Understanding that we're not fighting for left or right, we're fighting for red, white, and blue. And taking that message forward is something that's really, uh, really meaningful here. We just had a rally. We had RSVPs for 6,000 people, 4,000 folks showed up. Donald Trump Jr., Kid Rock, Ted Nugent, and 4,000 lovers of freedom in the state of Michigan right here who believe in taking our state forward, who believe in taking our nation forward. And I'm excited to bring my combat experience and my business experience to bear on the floor of the U.S. Senate. If you want to learn more, please go to johnjamesforsenate.com. Debbie Stabenow is well-funded, and we've closed the polls from double digits to single digits. And just today, we reported that in one poll, we're tied in another poll that I'm leading. But we need your help. We need your support to protect our constitutional republic. Well, we can, and think of what we could do to a great, a once great city like Detroit and revitalize it with your background, your expertise and experience. Josh, let me, let me bring you in in Missouri. Your opponent, Claire McCaskill, she is the, one of the most reliable Schumer votes in Washington. She's caught on tape saying, and her staff admitting that they are purposely lying to the people of Missouri. And now she somehow is mad that she's exposed. Oh, we need a special investigation. No, if you talk on camera or you're caught on camera saying things that directly conflict with what you tell the people in your state, she got exposed. That's her problem. That's not anyone else's problem. Yeah, if I were her, I'd be concerned about the fact that uh, she's caught saying one thing in public and another thing in private. I mean, she's t caught talking about how she wants exactly. to take away the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens, and we already know. We just had a debate last night, Sean. She, she said that she's opposed to the wall. She's voted, voted against border security. Uh, she is uh, opposed to pro-Constitution judges, voted against Justice Kavanaugh, and is opposed to middle-class tax cuts. So there's the choice right there, somebody who's a party-line liberal or somebody who'll vote with Missouri. Yeah, well, these are three important races. Um, that is a very winnable seat. I wish you all the luck, all three of you. Thank you. Um, these Thank you. three states, Michigan, Missouri, Indiana, all winnable. Thank you all for being with us.